all your kitchen tools, needs, recipes, you name it, your dilemmas in your kitchen. So please subscribe to my channel, like it or give it a heart and definitely share out. All right. So today we're going to be using one of my favorite, favorite tools of all time, which is the rock crock and the rock crock slow cooker set comes with two different pots that can go put in there. One is my favorite one, <clears throat> which is the Dutch oven. This is, um, a one gallon. Okay. Four quarts is one gallon. Okay. And it is made out of clay. It is uh, definitely, um, sealed with this black uh, coating on it. It is one of the pots that you can cook in almost every single surface you have out there. Whether you want to uh, make a cake in the microwave or even bake a whole chicken in the microwave, you can do a lot in the microwave with this one pot, okay? It can also, you can start cooking, say you want to do, say, French onion soup. You can start your um, uh, meal on the stove and saute everything up and then drop it off in the slow cooker take it off the slow cooker and then put it under the broiler to, to get a browned, um, brown your cheese on here. Okay. So it can not only go in your microwave on your stove top, in your oven, under the broiler and get this, it is heat safe to 752 degrees, 752 degrees is very, very high heat. Okay. And then when you're done with all this, once you, you're done with all the cooking to, uh, that you're done this, it can go right into your dishwasher. Now y'all know I don't use my dishwasher and it's really, Really super easy to hand wash this okay so anyway it is the rock rock it is one of the best tools I actually gave it to my niece for her uh, shower her wedding shower so it definitely is a awesome tool now I uh, uh, recommend purchasing it as a set and you have two different choices this one here is the everyday rock rock the everyday one which is this one here is two and a half quarts okay so it's a little bit smaller but today I'm doing ribs just for my mom and I I am not doing a whole rack of ribs y'all no way we'll be eating ribs for days so anyway we're gonna be using the um, the everyday one that fits in the slow cooker set so not only uh, you can you put it in it has it comes with its own slow cooker and the slow cooker has two different um, actually a couple different with uh, let me move this around it has a couple different options here it actually has uh, off low high and warm all right so I'm gonna put this one on for today on high because it's already 12 noon and I'm gonna start this at one o'clock now how am I gonna start it at one o'clock this is my tip of the day when you have a slow cooker that is just a plug-in okay you just plug it into one of these little um, on and off switches where where I use it for my sensi okay I gotta put this up at 12 noon up, 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 up. There we go. All right. So anyway, you're gonna put this on and we're gonna plug it in. All right. And this is how I'm gonna um, trick because sometimes, you know, like if you go to work like in the morning and you wanna get your ribs done, like you can have ribs during the weekdays, y'all, okay? And this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get one of these little timers. You're gonna put the timer on it and say you have to be at work for eight o'clock and you work till five. Well, eight to five is like six is uh, what? Nine hours plus in an hour, you know, coming and going. That's 10 hours. Your ribs are gonna be well, well overdone because most recipes call for eight hours. You're gonna actually trip it, tr uh, trick it. You're gonna start it an hour after you leave because you know it comes down to room time temperature. All right. And then you're going to turn it off maybe uh, two hours before you get home and then have it go back on right before you get home. So it's nice and warm. Just, just saying. All right. If you don't get this, this concept of using a timer, uh, call me. All right. Get with me. So we're going to actually put this, I'm going to put this behind my little sign right here and I'm going to show you how this works. So when I plug this in, all right. And I have this down here, you're going to see it the plug on there it's on the high but it's on the off position but as soon as it comes to one o'clock it's going to turn on all right and then at five o'clock which is my four hours later it's going to turn off all right so that's how you can trick your timer into or your uh rock prop to work for you okay so i'm going to put this right at 12 noon because it's not going to turn on until one all right so you now you got that done we got our our slow cooker ready to go i showed you how to to expand your cooking time so everything isn't well done because you know we don't like that pot roast well done pot roast is great in this all right so now we're going to be doing the ribs all right so anyway hello everybody how are y'all doing hey Eric's in the house monica's in the house melanie's in the house winking walkie talkie how you doing hello wayne wiley hello mary all right i think i got everybody on there this is my this is my favorite slow cooker 
is right. So we have ribs here, all right? And I'm going to put my ribs, I'm going to salt and pepper them. But before I salt and pepper them, you're going to have to take the membrane off of your ribs. And I cut mine up so that because they're like big pieces and small pieces. But there's a membrane. And this is like the membrane that is on, on it. You're just going to pull this off. Use a little knife. But you see how this is? You're going to uh, get this off of all of your of your thing because you don't really want to eat this part here this is the hard grizzly part of it okay so we got that um i'm gonna put my uh huh, i got well we don't have two dirty hands i'm gonna have to wash this again so anyway we're gonna have some salt on here i'm gonna put some pepper okay on here and i'm gonna put these in in here just like this put them down put the fatty side i don't i don't know just put them all in all right there we go. We're going to put all that in. I'm going to turn it over on the other side. We're going to put some more salt and pepper on here. Let me rinse my hand off because I'm done touching my meat. All right. Use a little salt. All right. And our soap. We're going to put some more salt and pepper on here. All right. We're going to put some pepper. All right. And now I'm going to add a little bit of smokiness to it. And I'm actually going to use the um, Smoky Barbecue by Pampered Chef. And I'm only going to use maybe about a tablespoon on here because the regular recipe calls for like two pounds of this. And I'm only doing like maybe, I don't know how many pounds, not that many. We're doing six ribs here. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of the seasonings right on top. Just sprinkle it. All right. Just sprinkle it there. Okay. It's on the loose part that I'm eating there. All right. And it's going to all marry in together. All right. So about one tablespoon is going to go in there. Now, the see, the secret to this, all right, you can use any soda. Yeah, we're going to use about six ounces of soda on here. This is to give give our, our, our rock rock a little bit moisture down there. So if you don't like soda, then use broth, okay? But we're going to use about six ounces of, of, of Coke. And you can use cherry Coke. You can use diet uh, Coke. Uh, uh, was it Dr. Pepper and just put that in there. Now I don't do any, uh, uh, let's see, I'm just put the, that in there. I'm just putting it all around. There we go. I just want to fill up the bottom. So it's nice and moist. I may even put a little bit less. Yeah. I'm going to put a little less. I don't need that much in there. All right. So we just need a little bit of liquid at the bottom of our, our pot here. So I probably put about four ounces of of soda in here rather than six because I'm using the smaller amount on here. And that's pretty much it. You're going to put on your lid. It's going to turn out on at one o'clock. It takes four hours. It'll turn off at five o'clock and I'm ready for my dinner. We're going to be eating early today. Okay. So that's part of it. Now, um, now what do you do? Let me see. I'm going to get this, this mess out of my, my area right here. There we go. And we got all that. So I have, hello, everybody. How are you doing? This is my, all right. So anyway, what do you like to put on your ribs? So this is going to go on. So when it stops, we're actually going to get some barbecue sauce. I'm going to put it on a nice sheet pan. I'm going to heat up my broiler and I'm going to let slather on some barbecue sauce. All right. And put it underneath the broiler and finish it off in the broiler. So it gets that nice charred, uh, uh, crusty on the, on the outside of your, of your, um, ribs okay so that's how you do your ribs it's so easy you just plop plop fizz fizz right into that slow cooker there and let your slow cooker cook it for you now if you're like a guy you just go out on the grill and you can grill it and sit there and like turn you know like oh no 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 this is the easy way of doing ribs okay what the way we're going to get that nice charredness we're going to put it underneath the broiler uh, once it gets done all right now what what did i do with my other half of my uh, rack of ribs i'm going to show you because these ribs were on sale this week okay and i and there's no way i was going to eat this do the whole rack okay uh so i just picked out six six of them i took off uh, two of the big ones and then four of the smaller ones over here so now i have my other half of ribs which i put in the bag i put the date on here uh, I put ribs and I put um, May 18th on here. And it's going to go in the freezer. So now I can have ribs another day, uh, maybe next month. Okay. Uh, I like to put a rub on mine. We did put the rub on it. We did put the rub and I actually put on smoky barbecue rub on here. Okay. There's two new um, uh, seasonings by Pampered Chef that are coming out and I, and I would use them, but then you won't be able to buy it. So right now this is part of the um, May 
enri enrichables or no may taste buds may may taste buds um that was was going on so the smoky this this is going to be really good on potato chips too if you like if you like barbecue potato chips you're going to like this okay uh and that's about it so anyway my ribs are done y'all and i'm done I, like this takes like less than five minutes to, to put on there okay so anyway uh this is my favorite tool to use which is the rock rock uh, slow cooker. I love the Dutch oven. If you have any questions on this one, please reach out to me. I'd love to get this into your kitchen for like discount it, at least discount it. If not, you purchase it right out. I don't mind at all. You can pay full price. I know y'all love to pay full price. All right. So that's it. It was a short in and out and uh, thanks for coming in and watching. And if you're watching on one of the uh, parties, put in, please put in hashtag replay or even here on, on Periscope. If you got to the end, please put in hashtag replay. So I know you saw it. Okay. Melanie Faye, thank you so much for the high five award and I'll see you all when they're done. Bye.